next Street Smarts from Superheroes. What color was the Incredible Hulk? All colors, man. Psychedelic. He was money green. I must be seeing things, man. To Super Cities. Bangkok is a capital city on what continent? New York. It's a superstitious Street Smarts. When would an umbrella bring you bad luck? Walking under a ladder. First of all, it, can it even fit? It might if you were short like you. Yeah. Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. I bet you're asking yourself, why is a handsome guy like me hosting a comedy game show when I surely should be modeling? Well, I'll tell you, despite my rugged good looks, I do consider myself a man of the people. So here's yeah. what I do. I tour the country in search of fine folks who will answer my simple questions. Then I trot their answers back here to the studio where two contestants must predict who gave me hot answers and who was all wrong. And here they are. We got Sean right there. What's going on? Yeah. kids. Now, let's meet our Rhodes Scholars. First, oh my, Peter convinced me that he might need to consider switching to decaf. Watch this. Peter, where are you from? I'm from Moorhead, Minnesota, baby! Wow! <laughs> you you want to be a rock star here, huh? Oh yeah, I'm going all the way, hopefully, but it's tough stuff out there. Oh, my love is strong now. You've really got a hold on me. Yeah! Yeah, that's right. Well, what do you want for Christmas this year? Well, this year, I want two front teeth, they don't have no space right here. That sucks! It just sucks! <laughs> Here's a wild one. And Antoinette revealed her spicy culinary alias. Antoinette, where are you from? California. And what do you do in California? I live in Iowa now. You live in Iowa? Yes. What do you do in Iowa? I'm an insurance agent. Do you have any nicknames? Taco. Why Taco? <laughs> because my husband named me Taco because I'm Spanish. Who's the smartest person you know? Me. You are? I am. Well, here you are on Street Smarts. Is that not perfect? That's perfect. And you've seen the show before? Yes. Okay, so you know we're going to ask you a bunch of questions and you're going to do great, right? I'm going to do fabulous. <laughs> Finally, James's prom story got me all misty-eyed. James, where are you from? Chicago. You're from Chicago. What do you do here in Minneapolis now? Uh, I'm a CEO of a record company. So, James, tell me about your prom date. Uh, my prom date was my mother. She was special in my life, so I figured I'd take someone special since it was a special moment, so I took mom. If you could date someone famous, who would it be? Farrah Fawcett. If everyone wore t-shirts that expressed their feelings, what would yours say right now? Uh, it would say, uh, you suck. <laughs> You're talking to me. All right, put away your flashcards, kids, because it's time to play. Who knew it? I asked all three the same question. You must guess who got it right. Lock in your choice, and a correct guess gets you 100 bucks. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's yeah. the first question I asked to Peter, who's crazy, Antoinette and James. Bangkok is a capital city on what continent? So who knew it? What do you think, Sean and Marcella? So lock in when you can. All right. Okay, you're both locked in. Let's see, uh, you think Antoinette knows, huh, Sean? Oh, yeah. She knows because she's the smartest person that she knows, so she's okay. gotta know. All right, let's take a look, see, we get you on her bus. Bangkok is a capital city on what continent? New York. Oh, I'm sorry, Sean. That's, uh, that's not only yeah. wrong, that's really wrong. Now, Marcella, you think Peter knows, right? Yes, if he's that hyper, he has to know a little something. something. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> Bangkok is a capital city on what continent? It would be on Asia! Whoa! <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's the right answer. Way to go, Marcella. You got 100 bucks. Good way to start the show for you. All right, here's the next question. <laughs> Finish this fairy tale quote. Fee fi fo fum, I smell what? So who knew it? It's kind of a tough one. What do you think? Peter, Antoinette, or James can tell me the answer on that one, guys. So lock in as quickly as you can. Sean, we'll see if we can give you some money soon. And Marcella, lock in. And you're both locked in. You think James knows, huh, Sean? I think that he does know, definitely. He's the guy on he this one? He looks smart to me. All right, let's take a look. Finish this fairy tale quote. Fee fi fo fum, I smell what? Foul play. No foul play. Yeah. What is foul play? Uh, something being wrong. Yeah, maybe someone's dead. Maybe like there's an Englishman dead. Right. <laughs> Blood's all over the place. Smell the blood. Yeah. <laughs> he got that wrong, Sean. I'm sorry. You're up for Are two, you buddy. Now, Marcella, now. you think Antoinette's going to come through? I think she might know. She looks a little ditzy enough to know this. Yeah. Okay. Look. <laughs> Finish this famous fairy tale quote. Fee fi fo fum, I smell what? 
I smell gun. <laughs> yeah, that's no fairy tale I've ever heard. I'm sorry, Antoinette <laughs> didn't know it either. It's Hyper Peter. He knew it. Finish this fairy tale quote. Fee fi fo fum. I smell what? The blood of an Englishman. Wow! <laughs> Guys, nuts. I love him. All right, here's the last question around, guys. According to superstition, when would an umbrella bring you bad luck? So what do you think? Who knew the answer on this one? Was it Peter, Antoinette, or James? All right, lock in when you can, guys. And okay, you're both locked in. You think James knows, huh, Marcel? Yes, I think, you know, he has a little bit of an advantage with the superstitious stuff and everything, so he might know that. Why does he have an advantage? Just because. Oh, okay. <laughs> According to superstition, when would an umbrella bring you bad luck? Uh, walking under a ladder. Walking under a ladder with the umbrella. With the umbrella. Is the umbrella open or closed? It gotta be open. If it's open, don't walk under a ladder. Well, first of all, can it even fit? It might if you were short like you. Right. <laughs> it's like the same height as me. I'm that sorry. Was, I'm sorry. James I apologize. Right that was not cool for him to say that. That was. That's right, because you dig me, right, Marcel? That's what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I dropped my cards. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, Sean, you think Antoinette knows it. Let's find out. <laughs> According to superstition, when would an umbrella bring you bad luck? When it's opened indoors. That's right. <laughs> That's the correct answer, Sean. I told you to do this. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's recap the scores here. Sean, you got 100 bucks. Marcella's got 100 bucks. <laughs> you know what else brings you bad luck? Changing the channel. Trust me, nothing's been the same for me since I missed the end of that one Alf episode. Stay tuned. DePiro, you're feeling me on that. Lance, Joey, Justin, JC, and Chris are members of what famous group? Oh, I know this one. Oh, I know this one. Not Beach Boys. Oh, I know this one. It's 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 a teenage band. Um, I know this. Tell me. Oh, I know this. It's a teenage boys. Okay. In sync. That's right. Oh. Wow. Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our in-studio contestants. We got Sean here. You're from Youngstown, Ohio. I've been there many times. Uh, you work at a tire center. Tell me about this one time you were fix fixing a flat. I'm a tire installer. Uh, one time I'm working on a car and a hot girl walked by. She distracted me. I accidentally dropped the car down without putting the tire back on the car. Oh. And some damage to the car. $500 in damage. My oh. boss wrote me up and I did not get her phone. You didn't over. even get your tires rotated. Oh, oh damn, Sean. All show. right, now look who's here. Oh, we have Marcella. She's from Atlanta, Georgia. Home care provider. Marcella, you love singing in the church choir. Yes. I absolutely love singing. I was singing really into the song, playing the tambourine. All of a sudden, I bust the tambourine wide open. Disco flying everywhere. People are ducking. I hit the drummer in the back of the head with one oh, of them. Man. And uh, now, every time I pick up a tambourine, people duck right. for cover. What did you say? You want to see the booty quake? <laughs> booty quake? Oh, That's what I thought. All right, let's recap the score. Sean, Sean's got 100 bucks. <laughs> Marcella's also got 100 bucks. <laughs> Those pesky voices in my head are telling me it's time for our second round. Who blew it? I have the same question, only two at a time. You must guess who got it wrong. Lock in your choice or correct guess earns you 200 bucks. Plus, there's a dead cap right there. Can only be used once this round. When you hear a question you think your opponent doesn't know, uh, smack the buzzer and dunce them. If they're wrong, you get 200 bucks. If they're right, they get 200 bucks. Like a ninja, the cap can take you by surprise. All right, here's the first question I asked to both Antoinette and to James. Since 1970, Susan Lucci has starred on what soap opera? Oh, you've been touched, Marcel! Marcel, throw that up there! All right, five seconds on the clock. I'm gonna read the question again, Marcella. Since 1970, Susan Lucci has starred on what soap opera? Young and the Restless? That's wrong, I'm sorry, yeah, Sean. Get Jerry Bunch and takes the lead. Who do you guys think blew it? I still So, who do you guys think blew it up there? Who blew it? Was it Antoinette or James blew that one? <laughs> All right, log in. And you're both locked in. You think James will? Sean, he won't know this one? James will not know this and one. And Marcel, you agree? Numbers. Yeah, if I don't, he don't. Okay. <laughs> Since 1970, Susan Lucci has starred on what soap opera? Oh, my children. Now, do you watch soaps? I used to. Ah, you both were with James. He got it right. Marcella didn't. Oh, she's leaving. All right. Here's the wrong answer. Watch this. Since 1970, Susan Lucci has starred on what soap opera? Days of Our Lives. Susan Lucci's famous for uh, losing, what, 17 times in a row? Virginity. It's the daytime Emmy, actually. It was actually it was 18 times she lost uh, the Emmys. All right, here's our next question to Peter and James. 
Uh, what color was the Incredible Hulk? So who blew it? Who didn't know? Peter or James could not tell me the answer to that one. And uh, you guys are both logged in. Let's see here. Uh, you don't think uh, James knows, huh, Sean? I don't think James knows. Okay, let's take a look, see if you blew it. What color was the Incredible Hulk? He was money green. You got that right. I'm sorry, Sean. James knew it. Peter's the one who blew it for Marcella. What color was the Incredible Hulk? The Incredible Hulk? Oh, all colors, man. Coming right at me. Psychedelic. No, he was green. The Incredible Hulk was a big green superhero. I must be seeing things, man. Okay. Peter blew it, Marcella. Way to go. There's 200 bucks for you. Nice job. All right, here's the last question to Peter and to Antoinette. A cyclops is known for only having one what? So who blew it? Was it Peter or Antoinette? Did not know that answer. I'll give you 200 bucks if you're correct on who blew it. All right, you're both locked in. You don't think Peter knows, huh, Sean? I don't think Peter knows anything. All right, let's take a look. A cyclops is known for only having one what? Only having one feet. One feet? Yeah, one feet. Wow! 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 Ow! Oh, yeah! Hey, bro! Way to go, Sean! There you go, Peter. 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 She got that right. I'm sorry, yeah, Marcella. Yeah. Antoinette knew that. All right, let's recap the scores. Marcella, you got 300 bucks. Yeah. Oh, Sean's got 500 yeah. bucks. Anthony, right. yeah. keep your eye on the prize or eyes if you have more than one. There's plenty more to come when we get back. You breathe in oxygen. What do you breathe out? Toxin. Oxygen? Yes. <laughs> Sore. That must mean it's time to play Pick Your Pony. Each player will choose one person in the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth $300. Yeah. The dunce cap is back. It's worth 300 bucks also, and you can only use it once. Now let's recap the scores. Marcella, a.k.a. Big Sexy, yes, has got 300 bucks. Sean, 500 bucks. So the player who's trailing, uh, trailing chooses first. Marcella, that's you. So who would you like to ride to victory? I am going to ride the Peter. Going with Peter, I mean, Peter. all right. Vine, Sean, how about you? You got a lead? Right. Antoinette has the flower power. That's my pony. Antoinette, all right. Here's your first question to Peter and Marcella. I asked Peter, the crime-fighting teenage mutant ninjas are what type of animal? Do you think he got that right or wrong? He has to know this. Come on. All right, let's take a look, see if we can get you 300 bucks. The crime-fighting teenage mutant ninjas are what type of animal? They are turtles. I love them to death. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Can you name them? Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. Wow! Yeah. 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 I think I found somebody for you, Marcella. I yeah, love him. You're up to 600 Call bucks me after now. The show. You got the lead. Aren't you married? Huh? Yeah, I got a ring now. <laughs> All right, Sean. Here's the first question I asked Antoinette. In math, the number 1,000 is a one followed by how many zeros? You think she got that right or wrong? Of course she got that right. Think so? Fine. Let's take a look, 300 bucks. In math, the number 1,000 is a one followed by how many zeros? Three. That's right. You work in, you work in insurance policies, so you gotta be good with numbers. Yes, you do. Well, how much is a policy for me? Guy, healthy, 30s? Short. Yeah. Um. <laughs> she got it right, way to go. I'll put a couple zeros out there. I'll put it out. I'll add some money to yours. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm coming back. Marcel, you're looking out for me, I know. Of course I am. You're I got your bag, baby. I got your bag. Oh. Big sexy guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your next question. I asked Peter, a sonic boom happens when you break the what? So do you think he got it right or wrong, Marcelo? 300 bucks here if you tell me what he did. I know him. He's going to say break wind. So okay. You know. <laughs> <Let's take laughs> a sonic boom happens when you break the what? The engine. Can you make a sonic boom? It's like the loudest noise on the planet. Whoa! Let me try that again. Whoa! The second one was better. Third time's a charm, though. Whoa! You got it out, Let's go. 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 Let's go.
gives you 900 bucks and the lead. All right, next question, Antoinette, for you, Sean. What was Betsy Ross famous for designing? Oh my God, you've been done, Sean Marcel. Throw it up, that big sexy. I'm gonna read the question again, Sean. 300 bucks on the line, you have five seconds to answer. What was Betsy Ross famous for designing? The American flag. It's the right answer. What do you think of Marcel? Throw it up there. Takes you up to 1,100, Sean. Uh, what do you think? Do you think Antoinette, your girl here, or do you think she got it right or wrong? Oh, she got it. There we go. She got it right. You think she got it right? Big sexy, you okay over there? I just gotta make sure he don't mess my eyebrows and my hair up. Okay, all right, let's hear that thing. <laughs> what was Betsy Ross famous for designing? Uh, men's underwear. Right, the, what kind of underwear did she, she design? Boxers. Boxers, she has like that, that American flag print's very oh, yeah, popular. The, the really nice looking right. ones. Yeah. <laughs> she got it wrong, Sean, I'm sorry. Thank God you got it right, so you she made 300 bucks on that probably. question. <laughs> yeah, the American flag. All right, here's your last question round, Marcella. You okay. need this to take the lead. Okay. Kiwi is a slang term for someone from what country? Did he get that right or wrong, Marcella? I don't know it, him don't know it. Oh, <laughs> I was he, like, knows like, it. he knows it. Kiwi is a slang term for someone from what country? Jamaica! I love the Jamaicans, oh yeah. It's the wrong answer, Marcella, way to go. I'm gonna have 300 bucks for total, get you 1,200 and the lead. The correct answer, yeah. do you guys know? New Zealand, there you go, good audience. Okay, no, last okay. question of the round, go. Sean, this is huge. If you get this right, you'll take the lead for the wager you're dead, so this is no, big. I, no, I no, asked no. Antoinette, what major river runs, runs along part of the U.S.-Mexico border? What major river runs along part of the U.S.-Mexico border? Did she get it right or wrong? She got it wrong. You think she got it wrong? She That's got it wrong. <laughs> what major river runs along part of the U.S.-Mexico border? The Gulf? The Gulf River. <laughs> That's a wrong answer, what did I say? Answer the Rio Grande. Let's phone. recap the scores. Big Sexy got 1,200. <laughs> Sean's got 1,400. He's got the lead. When we return, Sean and Marcella will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Peter, Antoinette, and James. I asked them, if you buy a Humvee, what did you purchase? Today's winner will be able to purchase anything they want, but first they must survive. The wager. I'm going to go talk to Big Sexy. I'll be right back. Secretly picked a person on the field, predicted whether they get the question right or wrong, and then you wagered an amount of money not to exceed your total. Good totals, good game. Marcelo, 1,200 bucks. Sean, 1,400 bucks. Now, if you want some money, Sean, what would you do with it? Pay some bills. Pay man. some bells. That's Pay all good. Marcella, how about you? I put it to good use and buy real eyebrows. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, good luck to both of you. I'm feeling all tingly inside. It's either something I ate or the fact that the whole show is riding on this very moment. Let's yes. go. Oh, yeah. And here's a question I asked to Peter. Antoinette and James, I asked him, if you buy a Humvee, what did you purchase? So let's get your choices right now. Uh, Sean, you got 1,400 bucks, so who do you want to see? James, that's what I selected. You go ahead, you go with James. Marcella, 1,200 bucks, only trying by 200. Who do you want to see? I'm going with James. You're going with James too. All right, well nobody picked Peter and Antoinette who we saw on the pony round. We're gonna wave bye, bye to them. Bye, bye, bye. Which means we're gonna check out James's clip. It's the last one of the show. Let's see what he said. If you buy a Humvee, what did you purchase? You bought a big old Hummer, a big, big, a big car vehicle. That's right. Yeah. That's the correct yeah. answer. James. Yeah. 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 <laughs> James got that right. Marcella, you went with James. We saw him get it right, poker face woman. Yeah. Do you think he got it right or wrong? What do you think? Press that button. You think he got it? See what had happened. I had, um... Press the button! You got it right! You said he got it right! How much of your 1200 did you wager? How much did you wager, Marcella? You wagered of your $1,200? $1,199! Right. All right, he takes you to 2399 Now, Sean, we saw James clip. He got it right. Push that button and tell me what you thought he'd do. You said right! All right, James, you had 1400 bucks. You had to wager at least 1000 to win. You wagered $1,100! Humvee, what did you purchase? I purchased a, a nice, nice schooner, baby. A schooner? Yeah. That's what a Humvee is? It's like a boat of some sort? Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> if you buy a Humvee, what did you purchase? It's, it's a military vehicle. That's right. 